Hi everyone, my name is Sarah, and if you're new, welcome to my channel, and if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to show you a little haul of the items I was gifted for my birthday. So, for my birthday, I genuinely like to ask for items that are more classic, pieces that I'll use all the time, and since I'm kind of entering back into my color era, as I'll say nicely, I asked for some quite colorful pieces, so I'll get right to it and show you guys what I got. So first was this Luar Anna Crocodile Embossed bag, so it's leather, and I got it in, I think it's just pink, I don't think it's bubblegum pink, um, it actually comes with a shoulder strap, but I don't really care for it. Um, Luar won a CFDA this year for accessory designer. I really do like this bag. I think it's super cute. Um, it barely fits my phone and barely fits like my, I have a toiletry pouch that I use in here and it does not really fit that, but it fits my card holder, it fits my keys and my lip balm and if I have lipstick. I really like the color. It was between this and the green one and I think it's really gorgeous. Um, the designer is, I think his name is R Rawl, and that's, Luar is Rawl backwards, and so he is from the Dominican Republic, if I'm not mistaken, and he just is doing kind of what I would consider elevated, like, more businessy clothing, or like some people call it smart fashion, so he is just designing bags now, but he said he was inspired by briefcases, and he named the bag the Anna bag because a lot of his family members are actually named Anna. So I thought it was a really cool fun piece and the only like con I have with it is that it was made in China. I wish it was made like somewhere like Italy or something like that. Just like not from but more from like a ethical standpoint. You know like Chinese factories sometimes are not the best when it comes to ethics. So he doesn't have a lot of background on it. It is leather. It doesn't really smell like leather. I think that is because it is the crocodile embossed. So it's got like this very shiny coating. But I think the crocodile embossing really makes it fun. I'll definitely show you guys but so it's silver hardware so it has silver rings for this strap sorry and then it's definitely very angular um you can kind of see but it juts out from the actual bag so the bag is kind of like it has a little give but it is very tough and it you can't really like fit a lot in I can open it for you guys you guys probably won't be able to really even see inside but it's black on the inside I have some hand sanitizer in there my card holder I was using this in the cash but it's black on the inside. It has one pack pouch on the inside. Sorry, not pouch, pocket on the inside. And the handles fit really nicely. I just usually wear it on my forearm or carry it by the handles. I have noticed that with more wear, you'll kind of see that the handles kind of protrude in together. And as the more you carry it, the more they will come together. But as a new contemporary designer, I really like this bag. I did consider getting it in the bigger size, but I just thought the pink in the mini was too good to pass up. So this is definitely a piece that I've really been loving and really enjoying. The next thing I have to grab from the floor because I don't put them up, but are these New Balance Joe Fresh sneakers. And these are just in the pink colorway. I love them. <laughs> they definitely match the Luar bag quite well. And I just think they're really fun. I really am trying to add a lot more color into my life. And so having something fun like this is really cool. I really enjoy them. I bought them off GOAT, so I definitely played over retail, but I really do like them, and I got the women's sizing, so I got women's eight, and they're definitely a little large, but they are really comfortable. I think they're just a fun statement piece, too. Um, I don't see a lot of people with pink shoes, so having something fun like this is really cool. And the next item I got was a Baba sweater in this, I think it was called Fern, um, but it's this just really nice, like kind of emeraldy green. And it's their classic crew neck style. Um, I really like Baba's cotton. They have some really soft cotton. I've gotten a sweater from Paloma Wool before and their cotton was not soft at all. But this Baba cotton is just so nice. I've worn this probably every week since I've gotten this sweater. My birthday's in January, so I've had plenty of time to try this out. But I really do love it and I really do enjoy it. And it's just one of the most comfortable sweaters. And it's definitely like an heirloom piece. This is a piece I'd be wearing for time and time again. Like I just really enjoy and love this piece. Um, definitely fits a little oversized. I'll probably put a little cutaway of me wearing it. But it fits so nicely and it's so soft and it's just so amazing. If you are ever interested in buying a Baba sweater, I highly recommend. They do do one size, which is 
kind of hard because if you are definitely on the larger side some other pieces might not fit you but from their production standpoint they want to make everything in one size because then it's less waste they can you know obviously sell out of their whole entire stock whereas if they made things in certain sizes just would not work out that well so I do respect that but also I wish they did do more you know larger sizes or things like that but yeah this baba sweater is gorgeous and I mean it probably would even go good with the pink bag green and pink really go nice together but I really just do love wearing this it's so cozy um I wear it with the hem like tucked up so it's a little bit more cropped but I think it's just a really fun and really great piece and next and last <laughs> was I got a pair of Reformation trousers so these are the mason trousers you can kind of see I got these in petite in size 10 I am five foot three so if it's not petite it's not usually it's gonna be way too long so I have to get them hem um, but so these are more of like a responsible fiber I think these are let me see if the label says I think they're tinsel yeah they're hundred percent tinsel lysol which was something I was looking for I was looking for more of a fabricy trouser instead of like a cotton one because I do have my big bud press ones and I do really like those trousers but I wanted a wide leg trouser I didn't want like an actual just regular trouser so I opted to get these I really do like them but they're a little thin and they do wrinkle a lot I don't know if that's just because of the fabric I think that synthetic fabrics definitely probably don't wrinkle as much and that is something that you probably should consider when looking for that sort of thing um, but I really just wanted a pair of nice trousers and so I was really happy to get these and that was my birthday haul. I've really been lucky in that people gift me really nice things and I really appreciate and enjoy them and so I hope you guys have a good day. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I usually talk about sustainable brands and things like that and so I would say 50% of these were sustainable, you know, brands that have more ethical practices and size inclusivity and things like that, and two of them did not. But buying the shoes secondhand, of course, was a better option than buying them new, but also, right, sneaker culture, they limit quantities in order to get as many people to buy them as possible, so it is, it is a give and take, that's for sure. But I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!